The following is a production of Learfield Sports. For the second straight year, the West Regional Final came down to Wisconsin and Arizona. And for the second straight year, the Badgers are the team moving on with ridiculous shooting in the second half. 15 of 19 from the field and 10 of 12 from three point range. The Badgers were able to defeat Arizona 85 to 78 as it's now back to back final fours for Bo Ryan's Badgers. We'll recap a wild weekend in Los Angeles. Here, of course, from head coach Bo Ryan. All coming up on this week's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Raymond Jackson in the lineup for Wisconsin now. Josh Gosser baseline right inbounding. Jackson will retrieve in the backcourt. And maybe you hear the reaction for the Badger contingent. Here's Gosser baseline right the drive. He'll leave it for Hayes, not ready for it. Tapped out the Gosser. Now Jackson for three, right corner. Welcome back, Trey Jackson. Sends a pass to Hayes, right of the circle. Back to Gosser at the top. Gosser finds a back cutting show water on the reverse layup. Good. Going left to right. Britt taken away by Showalter on the run. Britt's chasing. Showalter down the lane. Layup good. Showalter with six. Here's Barry with five. Barry a pull up three. Rattles out no. Decker the rebound. And it's on to the Elite Eight for the Wisconsin Badgers. We are just about set to go. Wisconsin, the top seed in the West against two-seeded Arizona. The Kaminsky right of the circle, flips to Koenig. He'll get it to Gosser, right of the circle, throwing to Kaminsky, left of the circle, 4-3, tie game. Kaminsky with 16. Gosser looped it into Kaminsky against Tarzus. Frank takes him on, low on the left, spins, up right hand, got it, got it, and a foul on Caleb Tarzuski. That's his third and one for Frank the Tank. Outside right, Koenig. Takes between the circles, feeds Hayes for three, left of the circle, got it! Nigel Hayes, his first from downtown. Johnson kicks to Gosser, right side. And he'll, he'll lean in, take the three, and hit it! Josh Gosser, cold-blooded! Shot clock at 12. Decker left of the center circle with 10 to shoot. High screen commits. Decker works right side. Sand the drive, right of the lane, to the rim. Layup, got it, count it, and a foul! And one, Sam Decker. High screen Kaminsky, Koenig on the dribble. Chased by Hollis Jefferson, now Decker for three, right side, got it! Decker for three, 79, 71, Wisconsin, 145 to play. Shot clock at 10, Koenig right sideline. Shot clock at eight, Koenig, a bump, a play on. A throw to Decker, shot clock at five, Sam for three, right side, got it! Sam Decker knew it when he flipped it! Badgers lead 85-78, York pull up three, left side. It's off the rim, Gosser the rebound, and it's over! The Wisconsin Badgers move on to Indianapolis. They will return to the Final Four. Down the lane, right hand, slam dunk, Sam Decker. And that's the record, Frank Kaminsky, 43 points. Nigel up he goes, and he throws it down. Sam's off at three, left of the circle, book it. High screen, Kaminsky trade, right left lane line, to the rim, scoops it up and into the right hand. Go right, and the Wisconsin Badgers have punched their ticket to Texas. They're going to the Final Four. The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. By Adidas. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney and together we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. When you have the fastest internet speeds, you can find anything almost instantly, which is a powerful thing. Because sometimes it's not so much what you're looking for, 
but how fast you can find it that makes all the difference. Get the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? The pride that it takes to run a farm, how you maintain your land, how you maintain your farm, how you do all those things. It's obviously a huge component of our state. It's funny, whenever you're out in different areas of the country, everybody will say it's all cheese, milk, dairy. That's kind of what people associate Wisconsin with. And we take great pride in being the dairy state and being a big producer for the rest of our country and for the products that we produce. Introducing the starting lineup at Zimbrick GMC. Whether you use your truck for work or play, GMC's full line of trucks, crossovers, and SUVs will handle it with style. Built with your comfort in mind and all the power you'll need to get the job done right. No matter what the season, you'll always get a great deal at Zimbrick GMC. Zimbrick GMC is a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Visit Zimbrick GMC today. Badgers lead 85-78, York pull up three, left side. It's off the rim, Gosser to rebound, and it's over! The Wisconsin Badgers move on to Indianapolis. They will return to the Final Four. Not too many people can say they can go to one Final Four, let alone two. So I'm a part of this team, and we're all back, and it's just exciting. Just happy to be back, you know, and I'm excited to get another week to get you know, better and, and, and keep helping out the team. So it's, all, it's only four teams going to be left after this, after tonight or tomorrow. So and we're just one of those four teams. So. Angles a pass for Hayes right side. Thinking about it, puts it on the floor. Baseline right, out to Koenig, open three, right side, book it. Ronson Koenig, his first points of the day. It feels different, obviously, since we did it last year. And I mean, that's the goal that we set is to win a national championship. So obviously, we're not satisfied with just this. But it's still definitely surreal that we're going back for you know, second, uh, second time. Get it the Decker between the wheels. Going to Koenig high on the left against McConnell. Draw and kick Dukin for three, right side, book it. Duye Dukin, what a long ball, 44-36 Wisconsin. I drove us a lot, you know. You think about that moment, you, uh, being at the Final Four, losing by one play, um, you know, that kills you inside, knowing that you were that close to playing for a national championship. And I think that just drove everybody in the offseason as far as workouts and all that, that we wanted to get in the same position that we were in last year and take advantage of it. I think this year is more business like, you know, last year uh, it wasn't expected. People kind of just were like, whoa, Wisconsin, how did they get there? Um, but this year, you know, it was expected. We, we felt like we deserved to be in the Final Four this year. And uh, we did a great job of not looking ahead to the national championship or to the Final Four. We just took it game by game and uh, did a great job executing. Shot clock at eight. Koenig, a bump, a play on, a throw to Decker. Shot clock at five, Sam for three, right side, got it! Sam Decker knew it when he flipped it! He thinks that was like the shot I had in high school to win state, but uh... <laughs> yeah, kind of. Um, well, I think, I don't know who exactly it was, but I had to get it up a little higher. Um, but it was actually, I had a good clean look at the rim. I just had to put a lot of arc on it, kind of floater it towards the rim. It felt good off the hand, and Trey, Trey was standing right behind me when I shot it. He yelled buckets because he saw he had a good line. So uh, his confidence went down, and was able to get a pretty clean look, and just um, was able to knock it down. Last year, it was a great feeling getting to the Final Four. It was almost like you know we were on top of the world, and this year it's you know kind of got the attitude of like what's next type thing. Um, we got more to accomplish. We've obviously had a really good year thus far, but Wisconsin basketball. I mean, every year it seems like, you know, guys graduate, guys leave, and other guys step up, and that's just going to be the case with this year. We're going to lose a good chunk of our team, obviously, but trust me, there's some good players who, who haven't been on the court yet and who will be coming back next year as well. So um, Wisconsin basketball's got a really bright future. Going to Sam Decker, he'll feed Koenig against McConnell left of the circle to Hayes left wing. Inside beat, Kaninsky catches, throws it up on the reverse, good, it counts. And a foul that was Ashley trying to check him, and it's an and one for Frank Kaminsky. We're just trying to have as much fun as possible. Um, we're still kids at the same time. You know, we we know, you know what we're trying to accomplish and what what we want to have the outcome be. But at the same time, we're 
I'm 21 years old. Um, I'm having a blast. You know, I'm trying to do all the fun things that I can do while I can still do them. Um, we've just been able to do so many cool things while we've been in LA, and you know, I'm sure Indianapolis, Indianapolis will be just as fun. With Frank coming back, it kind of set the tone for everything. Um, the commitment from all the teammates, to, and it's not that we weren't going to have a good team if he didn't, but he really uh, sparked um, something, I think, in all of his teammates, and, and, and they've answered the bell so far. Guys got hot. You don't shoot 79% every day in, in, in a half, uh, but they were good shots and probably shouldn't have missed the other four. It's 2050. I'm one of nine billion people on the planet. Like most, I live in the city. Our air and water are clean, and there's plenty of fresh food for everyone. My parents are getting old, but staying healthy. Good thing, because my kids will probably live to be 100. Can you imagine? The University of Wisconsin-Madison, preparing minds to meet the challenges of the future before they become the challenges of today. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on. We'll say it one more time because it's true and it's fun to say it. Four times in five years, the Badgers advancing to the Sweet 16. Again, full disclosure here, we are taping this before the uh, Thursday night game. So it's important to point that out because we want, as you see this, you'll know what's up with the Wisconsin Badgers. But uh, an interesting, I guess that would be one word, maybe not the best word, uh, development here. And it just happens from time to time in the NCAA tournament. And it has happened, in this case, to Wisconsin after a Sunday night game in Omaha, a very late return or early Monday return, and then flip around and have the first game on, on Thursday. Um, it, it's got to be very, very tough to get the brackets set and, and get everybody situated and all that. But this is a, it, it's a tough one, Bo. And again, we, we're speaking before the fact here. I don't know if it, it, another discussion topic amongst coaches and such when the, when the season is Yeah, on. you know, I've, I've heard from a lot of coaches over the years about some nightmares with travel and uh, things that the NCAA really dropped the ball on, excuse the expression, but where they had some turnovers. But they're human. But um, in this situation, I, I really feel that down the road I'm going to strongly uh, – through the NABC push for and for the student uh, rights, um, the, the student advocates, that they don't put the, the players in the position that they put us in this tournament. Late game on Sunday, uh, we do not get back. They, they didn't get to sleep until probably at least 3, 3, 30, 4 o'clock, depending on uh, how quickly they were able to shut everything out and, and fall asleep. But classes in the morning, uh, we're in class this week, so they, they had to get all their classes taken care of, get all the work ahead of time because we were going to be gone for the, for the week. Um, and I just think they could have, uh, for example, Wichita State and Kansas, if they would have played the second game on Sunday and we would have played in their time slot, we would have been home by 11. Um, and with the distance that they were going, with the game being in Omaha, their fans and their people could have been home midnight, you know, maybe uh, maybe a little later, but by midnight probably. Uh, but anybody that drove uh, to our games to see the, the Friday, Sunday, they weren't getting home until early in the morning. So what we have is uh, parents who couldn't set up flights because they didn't know our game time wasn't scheduled until after we played. So all I'm going to advocate for is that they set the times and they keep them that way and no matter who's playing in that time slot and try to make sure that the games aren't played late on Sunday because I think uh, there's no question we could get them in um, and, and also make it better for the parents. So, you know, Frank, big Frank Kaminsky Sr. Uh, is, is – driving six hours both ways he was going to get a flight but he didn't know what time the game was on Sunday so how do you set a round trip ticket so you'd have to buy another ticket for and then so you're doubling the cost so those are things that just don't make any sense for the parents uh, and also for the players with school it, it really doesn't compute for me and 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 for a lot of other people so 
uh, we're, we're going to try to get some action on that, try to get at least some conversation and, and try to make it better for the student athlete, first of all. For, and don't, I'm not worried about old coaches like myself <laughs> what time I get to sleep because I'm not playing. But, you know, and for the uh, parents and fans, there are fans that left and didn't stay for Sunday's game because they had work on Monday and there was no way they were going to get back as late as, uh, as late as, you know, one, two, three o'clock in the morning. So it, it just wasn't a good fit. It was fun that we won. Uh, that's worked out great. I'm not complaining that we're advancing. I'm just going to make sure that these issues are brought up and hopefully we can get some, some action taken. Well said. Coach Ryan returns in a few minutes with this week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week as the Badger Sports Report continues. It's funny how seeing a clearer picture can lead you to see the bigger one. Get the most HD channels and the fastest internet on the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? Some call it a miracle. Others call it science. But for those who've needed a kidney transplant like Kelly Crager, they simply call it a new lease on life. For nearly five decades, UW Health and the University of Wisconsin have been national leaders in the field of kidney transplant, providing a new life for recipients and assuring a normal life for living donors. Miracle? Science? Maybe it's a little bit of both. UW Health. Remarkable. Introducing the starting lineup at Zimbrick GMC. Whether you use your truck for work or play, GMC's full line of trucks, crossovers, and SUVs will handle it with style. Built with your comfort in mind and all the power you'll need to get the job done right. No matter what the season, you'll always get a great deal at Zimbrick GMC. Zimbrick GMC is a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Visit Zimbrick GMC today. Field Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. Gosser looped it into Comiskey against Tarzus. Frank takes him off. Low on the left. Spins. Up right hand. Got it. Got it. And a foul on Caleb Tarzuski. That's his third and one for Frank the Tank. I think it's safe to say that you've had a tremendous impact on the University of Wisconsin basketball program. Is that something that four years ago you maybe hoped for or expected of yourself? Um, it's something I hope for. Um, you know, I had a lot of expectations for myself, but at the same time, you never know what's going to happen in your career. So I just work towards, you know, becoming the player and the person that I am. And, um, you know, I'm glad to say I can help carry on the tradition. Uh, it's been a long process, but, you know, a lot of people, you know, are shocked. Even sometimes I'm shocked with myself with how far I've come as a basketball player. And, you know, it's listening to people who have done it before and then going out there and working as hard as you can. Off the court, Bo is always talking about not only molding basketball players, but molding young men. How would you say that you've grown as a person through playing basketball? I'm much more mature. Um, you know, I don't get mentally frustrated like I used to. Um, you know, that's something I've learned through Coach Ryan. You know, he just says, move on. You know, there's nothing you can do about the past. Just keep looking towards the future. And, um, you know, that's something that's really kind of changed me and, you know, changed my mentality a lot, a lot about a lot of things. Going to Decker, long three, left side, off the rim, no, Kaminsky the rebound, back up and in. Have you ever thought about bringing the goggles look back? No. No, I hated those things. They got foggy all the time, they were just annoying. Now Koenig loops it into Kaminsky, right block, in traffic, double team, muscles it up and in. Oh, the big man is being fed again, and he is delivering. Um, the Michigan game my sophomore year, um, you know, the uh, Elite Eight game against Arizona, Michigan State, um, you know, winning the Big Ten Championship, those are something, some games that I'll always remember. The 43 points game? Uh, that's, that's up there too, but that's more of a personal thing than anything else. 
Here's the throw to Kaniski on the right wing with a shot pick. Tries in the lane up, and that's the record. Left hand layup, Frank Kaminsky, a single game school record, 43 points. And where does last year's Final Four kind of rank amongst it all? Um, as of right now, it's, it's on top, but hopefully this year we can top that. Koenig, left of the circle. Throwing to Kaminsky, left side, four to shoot. Here's Frank, left of the lane, the pull up, jumper, good off the glass. Kaminsky with 31, 66-53, Wisconsin. Winning the Big Ten, cutting down the nets with your family, everybody there. Were you able to kind of sit back at all, ever, and take the moment in? Um, yeah, you know, during the senior video and those kind of things, when I was sitting with my parents and just having them talk to me a little bit, it was great to you know share that moment with them. Um, they've done so much for me in my career as a basketball player and, you know, off the court. So it's great to be able to share you know, those kind of things with your family. And you have the moment documented forever on a GoPro. Um, just, you know, it's something you'll want to watch later again. Um, so I just thought I'd record it so I can watch it again or show you know, people way down the road. Painting to the fourth court for Wisconsin, throwing to Nigel Hayes. He'll flip to Gosser, loops it into Kaminsky. Left block against Bielfeld. Tough shot. Frank up and in off the glass. Bielfeld went wow afterwards because he had a piece of the ball. What is it about college or what is it about the University of Wisconsin that you love so much? Um, the tradition. Um, you know, it's a great school. There's good academics. There's good basketball. There's great people here. And, um, you know, I just, I'm going to miss all the relationships I've built, you know, being on a college campus, doing things that college kids do. It's, it's been so much fun. Um, you know, it means everything to me. You know, it's become part of my identity as a person. Um, you know, when people think about me, I definitely think they think about Wisconsin. And, you know, I'm going to have so many great memories at this school that, you know, it's going to be hard to walk away from here. You know, I'm going to try and stay on campus until they kick me out. Introducing the starting lineup at Zimbrick GMC. No matter what the season, you'll always get a great deal at Zimbrick GMC. Get the Zimbrick GMC today and score big savings. Zimbrick GMC is a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. I'm part of the Zimbrick GMC team, and you should be too. Visit Zimbrick GMC today. When you have the fastest internet speeds, you can find anything almost instantly, which is a powerful thing. Because sometimes it's not so much what you're looking for, but how fast you can find it that makes all the difference. Get the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure a normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney, and together we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. By Adidas. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Time for this week's Greg Dane, Greg question of the week. Jeannie from Cambridge checking in, and uh, it's an interesting question. Wants to know, Coach, uh, what is 
life like for the family, spouses, and sons and daughters, and when it's all said and done with the season, can you just get away from it all for however many days it may be? Well, gee, that's a good that's a good question. Uh, simply because it's it varies. Um, some of the uh, some of the children uh, of the assistant coaches are younger. Some are a little older, and, and you know some of us have grandchildren, and so any any type of travel during the postseason gets uh, gets a little complicated. But it's but it's fun. But afterwards, as soon as everything well, actually we're not finished. We're still recruiting, uh, but we do get away. Uh, some of us will take a couple days, maybe a week, um, and just unwind a little bit. Um, for me, I like to go play a little golf out west. Uh, so, you know, it, it sometimes you just need a, a, to step back and, and recharge. But really, we're still, we're still working. We're still uh, uh, trying to get players and get contacts for down the road and uh, go into different functions different dinners, different, uh, hopefully for Frank Kaminsky and anybody else on our team that gets a postseason award, we have dinners and mm -hmm. banquets and things like that to go to. So um, you don't truly get to completely disappear, uh, but we, we do get some downtime. Absolutely. Head coach being modest, head coach up for a couple of awards as well. Jeannie, we thank you for your question. A great day with the location up in Wausau. Four in the Madison area, downtown, east side, Fitchburg, as well as Hilldale. That'll do it for us this week. Join us next week for our final installment of the season of the Badger Sports Report. Thanks for watching. Wisconsin Cheese, making good food great. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. It's 2050. I'm one of nine billion people on the planet. Like most, I live in the city. Our air and water are clean, and there's plenty of fresh food for everyone. My parents are getting old, but staying healthy. Good thing because my kids will probably live to be 100. Can you imagine? The University of Wisconsin-Madison, preparing minds to meet the challenges of the future before they become the challenges of today. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on.